Welcome back to Space Weather News, your daily source for all things space weather related. If you enjoy our videos, please consider showing your support by subscribing to the channel. In the past 24 hours, solar activity reached moderate levels with an M1-2N flare originating from Region 3376 at 203 UTC. This region displayed slight growth as it moved toward the western limb. Region 3379 showed some additional trailing spots but remained inactive. Region 3380 revealed a couple of additional trailer spots as it rotated onto the visible disk and produced several low-level C-class flares. Region 3373 rotated further toward the northwest limb, making accurate magnetic analysis challenging, but was responsible for multiple low-level C-class flares. The remaining numbered regions remained stable or exhibited slight decay. USAF observatories reported a Type II radio sweep with an estimated speed of 494 km per second. This event is likely associated with a far side, asymmetric halo CME first observed in NASA SOHO C3 imagery at approximately 1806 UTC. Plane of sky speed estimates averaged near 1522 km per second. However, this CME is not on the Sun-Earth line and is unlikely to have direct impacts on Earth. Solar activity is expected to be low with a chance for M-class flares on July 25 to 27. The likelihood of M-class flares will gradually decrease over this period as regions 3373 and 3376 rotate beyond the western limb. The greater than 2 mega electron volts electron flux was at normal to moderate levels. The greater than 10 mega electron volts proton flux reached 7.48 Fu at 1955 UTC due to the aforementioned far side CME event. On July 25 to 27, the greater than 2 mega electron volts electron flux is expected to be at normal to moderate levels. There is a chance for the greater than 10 mega electron volts proton flux to reach the S1 solar radiation storm threshold on July 25 due to the aforementioned far side CME event, coupled with any new events on or near the western limb. Background conditions are expected thereafter. Solar wind parameters remain slightly enhanced but are tapering off, likely due to diminishing negative polarity CHHSS influences. The total magnetic field averaged near 6 nt, the BZ component varied between plus slash 6 nt with no significant southward deflections, and wind speeds decreased from approximately 450 km per second to near 360 km per second by the end of the period. Phi was predominantly in a negative solar sector. Mildly enhanced solar wind conditions, due to the negative polarity CHHSS influence, are expected to continue on July 25th and 26th. By late on July 26th and into the 27th, a further enhancement is anticipated to occur with the possible arrival of CMEs from July 23rd. The geomagnetic field was mostly quiet, with an isolated unsettled period in the past 24 hours. The geomagnetic field is expected to be quiet to unsettled under negative polarity CHHSS effects through the majority of July 25th and 26th. Then, late on July 26th, unsettled to active conditions are expected with the arrival of the CMEs from July 23rd. G1 geomagnetic storming is likely by early July 27th as the bulk of the CME material passes near Earth causing possible glancing blow effects. Subscribe to our channel, and prepare to be captivated by a wealth of updates, insightful analyzes, and profound discoveries as we delve deeper into the mysteries of our dynamic universe. Remember to follow us on social media for the latest news and discoveries about space weather. To deepen your understanding of space weather phenomena, we invite you to explore our mini documentaries, Simply click on the on-screen videos to access these in-depth explorations. Thank you for watching.